What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here with a Rocket Punch Army review. I'm going to review my um, Christmas present to myself, which is the uh, Transformers Masterpiece MP14 Red Alert, or just Alert, the Cybertron Security Director, as it says there on the box. I am sick, which is why my voice sounds weird. Maybe it just sounds weird to me because I'm the one who's sick. Um, but yeah, this was my Christmas present to me. It got here yesterday. Today is Christmas. Um, so got here just on time for me to check it out. I just received it. You'll see it's still in the collector packaging from BBTS. Um, they actually sent me like an apology uh, in there that says uh, we're sorry we couldn't get you a mint box. You know, but I, I really don't see anything wrong with this one. And again, the plastic is on it, but I don't know, whatever. I guess their version of mint box is much more superior than it is to me. I guess this little stain down here is what caused it not to be mint, but who the hell cares? I just wanted one nice and wrapped. But uh, I'm going to open this up anyway, so you guys can check it out. We're just going to continue to look at the box a little bit longer. You'll see it's got the Lamborghini logo. you got the official sticker down here from Lamborghini. Uh, if this is anything like the uh, Sideswipe, they are using an actual color matched Lamborghini color. Um, and the Lamborghini that this is, is the Lamborghini Countach LP500S. And very cool thing, you'll see he's got the red head instead of the black. If we move right on the back here, you'll see some comparisons with uh, MP10 inside the trailer and a couple of things here with the accessories. And we are going to check them out with the MP10, so stay tuned uh, to the video. So what I'm going to do right now is just open this bad boy up so we can see what it's inside. Alright guys, this is what we get inside. We get the little plastic uh, baggie here with a little spec card. That shows alert there, the MP14, and the instruction booklet, all right? And the actual tray itself with Red Alert in his vehicle mode. And you'll see he's got the gun and the shoulder cannon and some little electronic ear piece thingies there, which I'm going to show you later on. So uh, if you watch my side swipe uh, video, you'll know that this is pretty much directly based off that mold. Um, with the addition of these police, or excuse me, fire department lights up here, and uh, some uh, different paint apps, and obviously a different color. So let's go ahead, open this. Alright ladies, here he is in vehicle mode. You'll see it's a beautiful representation, again, of the Lamborghini LP500S. Just like Sideswipe, except this has a fire department light thingy up here. So, just, ah, just blown away by these, these molds. Uh, just for a quick comparison, here is a G1 Red Alert without stickers, so you can see the size difference. Pretty good size difference. There you go. Um, definitely a huge improvement. Technology rules, and uh, yeah. So the car is actually painted white. It's not uh, molded in white. There's actually paint used, and the reason they do that is most likely to match the Lamborghini white. Um, again, beautiful. Uh, nothing much different than Sideswipe, aside from the paint details, but still impressive. This is shiny. This is, uh, Actually, the paint on this seems to be better than Sideswipe's. So I don't see any really uh, kind of paint mess-ups anywhere. Just underneath the spoiler, these these little supports here seems to uh, you know, not, not have enough uh, paint coverage there. But other than that, perfect. The tampo printing on the back is nice and sharp where it says Lamborghini and Countach there. Uh, underneath, very minimal robot bits. I like the way these panels cover up most of everything down there. Uh, temple printing of the fire department is nice and clear. So overall very nice. I do like the little rear views here on the side. It would be nice if they had some chrome detail just to make them look a little bit better. I'm sure repro labels will do something about that. Alright, I'm sure most of you want to check this part out here, even though you've probably seen it done a million times. with side swipe, but See how he scales up with the MP10 trailer. So you see he's kind of peeking out. Bring this ramp out here. And there he is. Scales up rather nicely, don't you think? Although no Lamborghini is really going to go over this. They just get stuck right there. So I actually do quite enjoy that. Uh, so we're pretty much ready to uh, put it into robot mode. Exactly the same transformation as Sideswipe. So let's get started with that. Now it is going to require me looking at the instructions since I haven't really transformed this mold very much. 
but uh, that gives me a chance to show you guys the spec card. So here it is. It's a nice glossy cardboard. And on the back here, shows both modes and his skill levels here. And all of it is in Japanese, so I can't really tell you what it says. And we're also going to check out the instructions. You'll see it's a nice full color booklet here. Or not booklet, but folded up page. Um, it's got some G1 animation going on there to show you all the different effects. You got the rocket launcher, you got the particle beam rifle, and you got circuit trouble for when he goes crazy. And um, yeah, and then just pictures, really nice. Everything's really cool. I like that. Uh, if we turn it around back, the instructions are actually just black and white. All right. So without further ado, we are going to transform this bad boy. The instructions have you start off by folding these wheels under the bottom here like that see if we can get this to work all right then pull the uh, arms out to the side like that grab both sides then you're going to want to uh, fold this front piece down but try and push down on the sides because that's where the tabs are you'll see it unhooks really uh, easily but if you try and just fold it from the front you're going to have a lot of trouble once you have that wrapped around like that bring both arms up unfold the fins left side first then right because of this little tab then bring up this piece the whole top part of the car you're gonna bring forward at this point you can see the feet there then just go ahead and separate this part here like that now these two sections here they're pretty stubborn the first time around so you're gonna push that down like that on both sides bring the rear quarter panels around move the garnish panels out of the way then you can unfold the legs and then now the side panels can actually snap into place like that, then bring this around, form the feet, you want to pull the red heels out, like that. And then this is the part I like, because this is all hollow here, and instead of just having these flaps come down and leave that hollow, there's actually other flaps that come out, like that. Pull both of them out, see if I can get the other one, like that. So when you bring it down, it actually covers the side. So, I thought that was really, really a cool, neat feature. Now when you do fold uh, these pieces over, you want this little tab there to go in that hole. You want to make sure you line that up properly, all right? and then you can just swing the garnish pieces over, and that creates the bottom of the legs. And then you want to set the waist area here. There's a hinge down here, not this visible one, the one at the bottom. All you do is fold it down as you bring this up, and it should snap into place to let you know that you've done it right. So you can put your finger right up here and you'll see it snaps right in. And at the top of his abs here has a little clip which is going to go right underneath. You'll see a little white area and it just clips right in. Then you'll see his arms are offset so you want to get him straight on both sides. Bring his arms down. Now his forearms spin around so you can get this panel out to the outside. Open the panels. You'll see this little nub here. Use your nail to pull the hand out. Close that back up. And then a lot of people leave the back like this. I don't think it looks that good. It kind of makes them look really wide, which is why you can actually pull these windows in, but a lot of people are not doing that properly either. Some people just fold them in just like this. Uh, let me show you. Just like that. And then they can't put the back in, and then they just assume that it's just an ugly backpack, but it's not like that. There's actually a double hinge that allows you to bring it in like so. All right. Now the windows will clear this section here and you can actually lay it up flat against his back. And the last bit I left here is just forming the head. Just snap that piece back in and there you go. All right, so he's all transformed, looking excellent, guys. Looking excellent. And did you guys notice something? Got the wheels on his shoulder. Look at that. They actually worked in smaller wheels on the shoulder. The actual real wheels uh are inside the top here but I like the way they put that there to give it the G1 look now, I do want to add the weapons on I got the particle beam rifle right here alright so I'm gonna go ahead open his hand and you'll notice the hand does not have individual fingers the thumb is actually stationary four fingers move together alright and inside the palm there there's a little recess which is for these tabs on the gun so because I'm gonna put the rocket launcher on his on this side here I'm gonna, I want the actual rifle to be on this hand just to offset it a bit so tab that in there you'll see 
sort of stays in there then hold the hands all right then we want to grab the actual rocket launcher and put it right on the shoulder and it clips you'll see uh, these little rectangular holes for this little rectangular black piece and you want to kind of support the shoulders when you pop that in and red alert is done it looks spectacular I love it even though I've already got side swipe this just looks so cool as a matter of fact I'm gonna grab side swipe so we'll set a red alert here to the side and pop his mold brother out so you'll see they're they are exactly the same mold but they're definitely worth getting each one individually uh, especially if you're a big enough fan so I think it's definitely worth getting both of these I love it uh, this is a great mold and I'm thinking if they ever make these in the US um, I don't I, I don't know if that's gonna happen you know with, I don't know how the licensing works with uh, Lamborghini and all that but I kinda don't see them being painted when it comes to the US um, I don't know I don't think they'll be painted I don't think Red Alert will have the red head if that happens but hopefully uh, they come out just as good uh, I do have another size comparison here let's move a uh, side swipe out of the way here uh, another Red Alert figure that I have which is the Generations Red Alert with the Heroic Duo upgrade kit so you'll see uh, this does stand a bit taller than a deluxe and I've also got the MP10 here so let's go ahead and pan up here so you guys can see where he stands by him so it's basically pretty much up to his abdomen for the MP10 here and how could I forget this uh, scaling here with his G1 counterpart makes him look really teeny speaking about forget and I forgot to show you his circuit trouble accessory piece here which just clips onto his ears like so so when he's going crazy ah, 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 ah. I thought that was a neat feature I would that's something I would expect from a third party company but I'm glad it was included in there you'll see it wraps around the back of his head made out of a nice clear blue plastic alright so again my overall thoughts uh, pretty much the same as Sideswipe it's an excellent figure well done paint is actually better than the side swipe in my opinion at least on this um, particular version here now the only thing uh, people might have an issue with and it all depends on how much you play with these things is right here where this panel is painted it rubs right up against the uh, wheel there so I mean the wheel doesn't go down any further you can kind of pull the shoulders out this way but it makes it angle out so not a big deal to me since I don't really mess with them too much but just something to look out for for you guys that are constantly transforming your your figures. But um, I know I guess we can wrap it up. Um, I love the figure. I can't say enough about it. If you're a fan of the masterpiece line and you collect the masterpiece line, I'm sure you already have this. But if you don't, I suggest you check it out. And uh, I don't know. Questions or comments? Leave them below, guys. Till next time. Bye bye.